The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went out from Galilee, Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with a child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them. In the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over the flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Alam po ninyo, this is the first time after the COVID-19 pandemic struck us na napuno muli ang ating simbahan ng ganito. Kaya Merry Christmas, palagpakan natin ang ating Panginoon. At pakibati na rin ang ating katabi. Merry Christmas po. Merry Christmas. For our reflection, I would like to anchor my homily on the three P's of Christmas of our Commanding General Philippine Army, Lieutenant General Roy M. Galido, that according to him, Christmas is about three P's. The first P is Pasasalamat. The second P is Familia. And the third P is pag -asenso. We have heard in the Gospel reading the angel's proclamation to the shepherd, Do not be afraid. These words resonate deeply within us as we celebrate Christmas with these three Ps in mind. The birth of Jesus, also known as Emmanuel, which means God is with us, serves as a powerful reminder that we are never alone in our struggles. 
the presence of God in our lives provides us with comfort and strength, dispelling fear and uncertainty. When we encounter the challenges of life, such as illness, loss, or other personal hardships, it is natural to experience fear and uncertainty. The weight of these burdens can be overwhelming. However, we should firmly grasp the assurance that God is with us, leading us through our trials and offering us hope. So Christmas is about pasasalamat. Christmas reminds us to embrace the spirit of thanksgiving or gratitude. Christmas is about the greatest gift of God to humanity, the gift of His Son. And gratitude opens our hearts to hope and enables us to see the persistent goodness even in times of adversity. It can help us develop resilience and cope better with stress as it fosters a more optimistic outlook on life. The problem with us today is that we don't see anything to be grateful for because of our sense of entitlement, feeling entitled or a sense of entitlement leads us to lose gratitude for the blessings we receive. I recall what a friend once shared with me that he said, Sabi niya, Pader, alam mo, ngayong Pasko, namibigay ako ng cash gift sa akin mga personal. Pero, wala man lang isa sa kanila ang nagpasalamat. Napakinggan po ko ba, nagsasabi, ito lang po ba? Wala na, di ba? Let's learn to be thankful. Receiving gifts and blessing from God is not a right. Everything we have is due to God's grace, mercy, and compassion. And how can we live a life with gratitude? Isn't it true that in expressing gratitude to a kind and helpful person, we strive to avoid actions that go against their wishes? By showing gratitude to someone, we honor their desires which ultimately benefits us. Similarly, our expression of gratitude to God involves aligning ourselves with His will. Living in accordance with His will is an essential aspect of expressing our gratitude towards Him. Let us therefore live our life as an expression of our gratitude to God. The second P, Christmas is about familia or family. Christmas reminds us of how much God values and cherishes human family. He demonstrated His reverence for the family by having His Son submit to being part of a human family. That the Lord, God the Father, He could have sent His Son without passing through without become a member of a family. But God opted to be born to a family. God chose to have him born into a family, thus illustrating his respect for the institution of family. Additionally, God emphasized the importance of family by sanctifying and instructing it from the beginning. If Jesus spent 30 years on earth, He dedicated 27 years to His family, with only 3 years devoted to preaching, because as it is, a holy family leads to a holy church and a holy nation. Therefore, let us also cherish our families. Christmas 
holds no significance if family members are in conflict. Wala hong kahulugan ng ating Pasko kung hanggang ngayon ay nag-away-away pa rin ang membro ng pamilya. Our Christmas loses its meaning if we are unable to forgive and welcome back a family member who has gone astray. Pag hindi pa rin natin mapatawad at matanggap muli ang membro ng ating pamilya na nagkamali at nagkasala, wala hong saysay ang ating Pasko. Our Christmas becomes meaningless if we forsake and neglect our families. Pag tinatalikuran natin ang ating mga responsibilidad sa ating pamilya, wala pong kahulugan ang ating Pasko. We can value our families as God does by prioritizing our relationship with family members, showing them love and respect, and actively participating in their lives, and above all, be a role model. Lead by example and demonstrate the values and behaviors you wish to see in your family. And lastly, as we navigate the path of our lives, we are called to strive to progress, trusting in the presence of Emmanuel or God with us. In our pursuit of progress and prosperity, we draw strength from Christmas. As God becomes Emmanuel, the God who is with us, that as we strive to rise and succeed, we are challenged to progress collectively. Let us advance together, leaving no one behind and no one neglected, journeying together as a unified community or as a synodal church. Let us endeavor to achieve progress that leads us to life eternal. And we cannot enter the kingdom of God alone. We must enter into eternal life with others. We must enter into the kingdom of heaven together. Therefore, do not be afraid as the angels assured to the shepherd in today's gospel. Let us find solace in the presence of the Emmanuel, the God who is with us, who brings us hope and assurance. May the spirit of gratitude, the love of family, and the pursuit of progress guide us as we journey through life, knowing that we are never alone. May the presence of God in our lives bring us comfort, strength, and peace. Amen.